Hey guys, and welcome to Immortals Phoenix Rising. This is my second, oh, God damn it! this is actually my second time playing this game for you guys. I managed to get access to about four hours last time, but now the game is fully out and we can play as much as we want. I'm not going to be doing any story stuff in this video. I'm just going to be playing, well, some of the game, the combat, exploration, and so on and so forth, showing you guys what you can actually do in this game. Because I can already tell one thing about it, Part of me knows this is already going to be a hidden gem game. I really hope that people give this game a chance and ignore its silly title because I'll admit, Gods and Monsters was a much cooler title, whereas, uh, what is it? Immortals Phoenix Rising isn't as cool. So I can kind of understand, but people I really think should give this game a chance. From what I've played so far, it is so much fun, man. Before we get anywhere in this game, I will say thank you so much to Ubisoft for actually supplying me with this code early. They're awesome, and I've been playing through the game my own time, having a blast, but this is the start of the game. So if you're worried about story if you're worried about story spoilers, don't worry about it. I'm all good. I'm making sure that you guys will not get any spoilers or anything, because we're in, we're only in the first like hour or two of the game. So I'm thinking what we will do now is actually just explore a little bit and I'll show you guys how the game actually works. Because when I played it in my last video, I didn't actually get much time to do it because I was stuck on a strict time limit. Whereas now I can actually do whatever I want and show you guys whatever I want. Technically, I don't, I don't really really I don't really want to be an ass that just spoils everything So what we're gonna probably do first is show how like movement works Obviously, I'm still at the very start of the game So I haven't unlocked a lot of abilities, but I'm gonna be showing you basic basic movement like jumping gliding And that's pretty much it <laughs> the real stuff that I think is the most exciting to show is the combat because combat is actually Much more in depth than I thought it was there's a light hit a heavy hit those can obviously be comboed together Then you can also counter or block and then you can dodge it doesn't sound like much, but when you're in a fight, oh man, I actually don't know about fighting these two things. These guys look much better, but when you're in a fight and they go to just about hit you, I will say that block, oh, there we go, could come in so clutch. Not gonna lie, I love it. Oh, it is so cool. And of course, I'm pretty sure closer to the end of the attack you get, the better the counter can be. So, yoink. There we go. You see how the sparks were blue that time? I think they'll yellow the other time. Hold on, let's test this theory. Hold on, attack me. Attack me. Bitch, attack me. Eh, eh. Okay, no, it was blue that time as well. I think I did a perfect counter as well. Never mind. But man, the combat feels so good. I will say, I think watching it versus playing it is so different. Usually when you're watching someone play, you can be like, oh yeah, this game looks cool. But playing this game is so different to like watching someone play. 100%, if you guys get the chance to actually pick this game up and give it a shot, then I highly recommend it. It, so far, oh, so good. Of course, though, there are other abilities, like your LB abilities or your L1 abilities, which I've only got one at this current point, but you do unlock more as you play through, which is, let's see if I can actually find something to do this with. Here we go. So we can pick up pretty much any object that's like a boulder or tree logs or anything like that, and we can throw them. And yeah, these could actually make for some funny things. Hold up. And yoink. Oh, that shit hit him, right? Hey, there we go, and it is so freaking cool because it obviously goes off your stanima. These are obviously used in the puzzles, and block! Woo! Oh shit! Bang! Da, 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 get fucking ripped! Woo! Yo, okay, I blocked him. Woo! Okay. Woo! Holy crap! <laughs> this dude is terrifying. I love it! Woo! So as you can see here, there are also moves like the red moves, which basically are unblockable moves, and shoot! Oh shit! There we go. That was the yellow spark. So that's when you get hit with a really heavy stuff that you can't, ah, shit. <laughs> that you can't, whoo, actually block. Okay, and then pivot. Oh, shit, that did nothing. Do I need to like actually charge this? Oh, shit. Oh, I actually stopped him. Yes, get fucking wrecked, you trash. There we go. Of course, there are other things in this game. Like, well, you can climb pretty much any surface you see. And well, you can glide anywhere you see as well because you're on a giant a freaking island so anywhere you see you can go to because yeah you can't reach those islands out there you're not gonna have enough stamina for that sadly though because of the amount of like climbing and stuff you can do in the game a lot of people are calling it a zelda clone or a gunshin impact clone and i think that's a bit unfair considering it's more of a genre now at this point like yes 100% people can take inspiration from the game and it's definitely copy copying a game straight up but this game, I think, does enough, just like Gunshin Impact does, to differenti differentiate itself from being just another Breath of the Wild clone. I really think this game deserves at least a shot. And hopefully people do give it one, because, yes, if, if it's a Zelda coin, is that really a bad thing? Because that game is amazing. <laughs> so, I don't know if it is that bad a thing. You know, even if it is pretty much a Zelda clone, I think it's different enough to call it its own thing. 
and just has Zelda element or Breath of the Wild elements that make this game amazing. Like this, for example. This is something I hope they add into Breath of the Wild 2. The whole, every bit of water you see. Yo, hidden. Oh no. I am going to try my best to cut around a lot of their dialogue because a lot of their dialogue is so funny. I'm pretty, pretty sure it's pronounced Zeus and Prometheus. Prometheus? I can't ever pronounce his name, but they're so funny. And they talk over a lot of what you do in the game, which you think might be annoying. But they're, to me, oh my god, that skull looks gorgeous. But they're, to me, probably one of my favorite parts. But this underwater fact, that you can dive and go anywhere underwater, it might seem like such a subtle, small thing. But the fact you could do this in a game that's like Breath of the Wild is amazing to me. And I can only imagine how terrifying and how many Easter eggs of, like, the Kraken and kind of stuff. Oh, man. Oh, no. Nah, not dealing with that. <laughs> no, thank you. One of the last things to actually show you guys before we just get into actually exploring this world is there's mounts. Which is pretty cool. You know, they're, they're alright. You know, you can just run around on these mounts. Kind of cool. Anything you see with four legs that looks like a normal creature, you could pretty much mount. It's awesome. You know, it's pretty simplistic. But, you know, they have to they have to make it somewhat spicy or cool. If you hold the mount button, you can just summon the thing from air. <laughs> that is so cool. I love that. Literally, you could just be gliding and then as you go to land, just hold the mount button and you can summon it. Or you can do a cool, like, roll thing when you hit the ground, and then activate. Dude. Like, imagine you jump off that, you know, no, I'm going to do that. Hold on. If we're up here, we just run, jump down, and then activate it last second, and mount. Oh, damn it, mount. <laughs> okay, we're going to do it down here, and then activate mount. Boop. Dude, that, that is awesome. I really like this mount feature. That is... Wow, that is, like, it's really subtle and cool, and I love it. And, dude, I only just... I just found this. This is like a little secret room. Yo, this is so cool. Literally, you can just explore. This world's up. <laughs> this world seems huge, bro. Oh, man. Okay. All right. You know what? What we're going to probably do now is we're just going to explore a bit of the map and go around because obviously that whole intro was in nighttime. It is starting to go day. I want to I wanna, I wanna go some places in this map because this map is huge and we're only in one section of it currently. So let's see what we can actually find. Dude. This map looks amazing. And this is just this section. Holy crap. Wait, hold on. Now, let's go around. Before I go, before I go up there and enhance the story, like, this is only one section of the map. Like, this, all this green area is one section. And then it goes into another one over there. And then another one over there. And then there's even more out that way over there. Bro. <laughs> I'm loving this. I'm really liking this. Okay, you know what? That's fine. I'm just going to quickly do this. So then you guys don't have to deal with it. And, you know, then we might actually go to a new area. We might explore one of these new areas. Because I only got to play around in this area in the that four-hour demo I got. So I kind of really want to explore one a brand new area for you guys. But, of course, we might have some spoilers doing that. Cool. So now this is all done. I have all this stuff here. I actually want to quickly play around and see if we can maybe level up our weapons. We can. What's this? Oh, that's the arrows. Okay. Okay. So we can actually level up our stuff. Might ignore that for now, then. We don't really need to do anything here. But I'm thinking... I'm thinking we head somewhere really cool. I'm seeing that building over there. I want to head there. I don't know. That just that looks kind of cool. So let's head over towards that building and see what we can find. It's probably going to be a bit of a dangerous area. So screw it. Let's go. Oh my god, this looks amazing. And now I'm going to say it again. This looks amazing. <laughs> this looks so good. Oh, that is going to be a bit of a distance. Okay, let's go. Let's just... Oh no, I didn't mean to jump. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, open. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, mount, mount. Don't fail me now. Woo, let's get out of there. And... We landed. Oh! Am I allowed here? Oh, okay, something's just happening. Okay, that's fine. Dude, this area looks menacing. Oh, part of me does not want to touch that liquid because it does not look nice. I like it. <laughs> this looks really cool. Holy shit. And considering I'm seeing, like, normal guard people. Hold on, what happens to my life? Oh, what the far out is that? Okay, we're leaving. No, 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 no. Not dealing with that. Whatever that was, not dealing with it. Oh, my God. Oh, they're actually... Oh, okay. There are actually a few new creatures here. Oh, shizzle. Um, okay. I think this is, like, the, I think we're actually in the toughest area because Typhon's head thing's up there, so... Okay, okay, let's, <laughs> let's, let's get out of this place, because I want to go to that temple thing. There it is. We do have a few things in our way, but we should be able to get there with no stress. And when I say that, I do not say it with confidence. Oh my god, this place is kind of terrifying. Are you, okay, you're a shield guy. You know what, let's test. How strong are you guys? Ha, <laughs> get wrecked. Okay, how strong are you? And boop. 
Uh, boop! Boop! And boop! There we go! Okay. Oh, shit! Oh, that's half my health! Oh, that's half my health! That's half my health! Go, 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 go! Please! Oh, no, you're gonna hit me, aren't you? You're gonna hit me! Oh, no! Oh, shit! Oh, okay, running, running, running! Oh, no! Please do not spot me! Please don't spot me! Oh, shit! Okay, get out, get out, get out. There we go. The temple's right there. Temple's right there. Oh, there's so many enemies. Oh my god, there's so many enemies. They're still trying to attack me, but I'm right next to this thing now. So I shouldn't have to worry too much. I mean, they are they are just there, so I should be fine. Oh my god, that thing again. Oh man, that thing is creepy, bro. That thing is so creepy. What the frick? Okay, I think we're far enough away from them now. But what is this place? Because this place looks really cool. I have no idea what it is. What the frick? Okay, there's a person turned to stone. Is this where Medusa came from? Because I don't know if it's Medusa that turned people to stone or the Gorgons. I think it's a Medusa. Medusa that did it. Because I'm pretty sure in this universe, or maybe just in normal mythology, Medusa is the only one that can do it. I think, at least. But yo, hold up. Where we are now, because we're around a bit more of the, I think, the left side of the mountain. Now we can actually see some more map. There's like, I don't know who that is over there. That is that. I don't know, a blacksmith. Is that... That's not Thor. Thor was... Obviously, he lives in Midgard. So... Oh, man. Did I just get that wrong? Oh, I probably got that wrong. But... Man. Dude. Yo, there's a snake over there. That's probably Medusa or something. Holy crap. That mountain. Yo, check him out up there. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. All right. I like this. You know what? We might do... We'll go somewhere else. We'll get into a fight with some new people or some new monsters just to see what it looks like. And then we'll probably end this video off because there is so much in this game. I generally just don't know what to show you guys. There is so much. But I am going to be doing a three-hour live stream very shortly. So if you've just seen this video and you're watching this on the same day, in a couple hours' time, I will be doing a three-hour live stream of this game, exploring and running around and doing things you guys tell me to do. So if that interests you, then 100%. Go and check it out. Oh, he's new. You're new. You're new. You're new. Hey, there we go. Hey, all right, sick. So let's see. Oh, of course I took some full damage. Oh shit. Oh. Okay, you're a, you're just a heavy boy. Oh, you're a fast boy. Oh shit. Oh, you're you guys like freaking instant transmission over here. All right, this guy. I think he's just a heavy hitter. So we should be able to take him down. There we go. Oh. Oh. Okay. I can't air dodge yet. I know that is the ability you unlock, but I cannot do it currently. Woo. There we go. All right, sick. Take him down. Oh. Come on then. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Is this probably irritating him? Just his mask. There we go. And, oh, yes. All right, sick. Get that. And combo. Combo. And spin. Hey, there we go. Woo, woo, woo. Activate. Bang. Got you, boy. Oh, that combat feels so good. All right, sick. And then we just, I'm assuming that and that. Oh, you bastard. Okay. And then jump that. Oh, okay. I don't like how thin this thing is. Oh, crap. Okay. And then over here. Okay. Yeah, I knew I was going to walk into that eventually. And hey, we did it. Let's see what we get in here. New cosmetics, please. Oh, okay, yes, it looks like we got a hood. There we go, easy as that, cool. So obviously there's a puzzle scattered across the map, but I was gonna end the video off here. What I think we might do first is try and find one of the hidden underground sections because there are things in this game that are very similar to what you could call shrines in Breath of the Wild, where you can go technically to the underground or underworld and do little puzzles. And those puzzles actually give you bolts of Zeus's lightning, which you can then use to level up your own abilities and so on and so forth. So let's try and find one of those things because those are really fun. And some of the puzzles are really creative. And I think this is one up here. No, it's not quite one. I think that's just a crack in the ground. Ah, there's one. And yo, we got one of those three-headed dog things. And it looks like it actually might be our level. So we could probably fight that. What the fuck is this chicken? We've got quite a bit of monsters on us. And I do not know what that three-headed dog does. Ooh. So we're going to have to keep an eye out for that one. Here we go. Chicken, just fuck off. Die. No one likes you. Here we go. I'm going to save the dog until last. There we go. I'm going to call it a dog at least. It's probably not. Ooh. It's probably not a dog. I, I don't know what it is. It reminds me of Fluffy from Harry Potter. Ooh. Oh, shit. There we go. Okay. All right. We got there. Oh, shit. I'm healing. Oh, bro, I was healing. Not cool. Come on. He's getting low. He's getting low. I don't... I think we can stun him. I think that blue bar once that's full, that basically makes it so he's been stunned. Oh, okay. And it's very close to being full. Boy, one more hit. One more hit. There we go. So I was right. And then that keeps them stunned for as long as that yellow bar's there. Okay. We got this. Boop. Yes, dude. Whoo. All right. Sick. We took down one of those hellhound things. I don't know what that was, but let's go down this because these are actually one of the puzzle things I was talking about. And these are really fun. I really want to show at least one of these to you guys. And as you can see here, it is pretty much, it shows you a different, okay, two, two out of three. That's okay. Two sides of Caron's Dew, I think, or is that Dew? 
No, I think that was due. Oh, man. But it seems like... Oh, no, please. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I was going to fail then. It seems pretty self-explanatory so far. I'm assuming it's going to be one of these puzzles where, yeah, we hop on this and then shoot it again to go back. Right? Yes. Okay, cool. And then trigger that one. Okay. And then trigger that one. There we go. Bro. I like this. I just love, like, the atmosphere in these places. Okay. And then I have to... Oh, I know what I'm doing. So I can hop off here. Yep. And then I can fire this. And then I should be able to turn you around, I think. And then clunk. Is that right? I think I'm right. Am I right? Am I smart? Did I do it? I think I'm smart. Okay, it seems pretty self-explanatory so far. Shoot that. Okay, move forward. Part of me feels like I was meant to put one of those blocks on there. No, I was not because there are more blocks over here. Alright, I think I'm doing this correctly. Oh, oh, there's a chest here. Oh, is this one of those? Okay, so this is how I'm meant to do it. So I use this file, I'm assuming. And see if we can hit this. I think this is what I'm meant to do. Ah, okay, it drains your energy just as it's about to hit it. Am I actually meant to make that shot? I don't know how I'm meant to make that shot. And there. Come on. Bro oh! Yo, I actually got it! Yeah, <laughs> yes! <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, I missed it, damn it. Yo, that's cool. Oh, we got a new chest plate? Hold up, that actually kind of looks sick. Let's chuck that on quickly. Oh. Yo, I like that red look, though. That actually looks kind of sick. And then all I should have to do is hit it one more time, and then we're all set. Yep, there we go. Easy as that. I do like this control arrow thing. This it could, That's going to make for some pretty cool puzzles. And that should be it. I think up here is Zeus's lightning. There we go. Easy as that and collect. Well, there we go, guys. That's where I'm going to end this video. I hope you did enjoy it. Again, if you want to catch that three hour long live stream, it's going to be happening in a few hours. So if you're watching this on the day this video goes up, well, stay tuned because that will be there. But if you miss it and you want to see more of this game, don't worry. I might make another video if you guys enjoy this one enough. And of course, on my second channel, you can go check out that three hour live stream, the whole thing. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. My name is Troy and I'll see you in the next one. See you guys.